All right, my name is JB. This is my 1994 Dodge B-150. Um, I was raised in the vanning world. My stepfather's name is Ron Duguay, AKA Fish and Chips. Traveled around with Howard Furtech, also known as Nickels and Dimes. Um, I found this van online and um, decided to pick it up. It's got uh, smaller front tires on the front. You got the Eagle alloys and the larger tires on the back. Um, we got a AC hot air exhaust. I drilled a hole through the floor for the AC to drip line. We got metal uh, step rails. We'll head on up towards the front. Obviously we need a little paint work, but that's okay. We're working on it. We got a, looks like a homemade billet grill with a step plate for the windshield. I also have a window bra for it as well with a uh, front visor and a rear jet wing in the back. And here we also have the rubber, uh, rubber flares. And I do have one that go all the way around, but I am gonna be looking for a fiberglass kind of setup. So we'll working on that. Dual exhaust does come out at the right in front of the tire here where my boot is. There's one on the other side as well. So dual exhaust. Got a CB antenna here for the CB up on the uh, overhead console. Wood grain steering wheel. And it does have a, an original 318 motor. Bought it with 129,000. I just now rolled it into 130 plus. I bought the van completely empty. As uh, Oop is showing you, this metal rod with window locks is what holds my homemade awning made from a tarp. Slide the rod through the tarp, put the locks on, and it holds out the awning. The keep on trucking sign came out of my stepdad's split window Dodge. So we passed it on down, put it there, and that's what I'm going to be naming the truck is keep on trucking. Uh, the interior started off with this dresser drawer, which holds the refrigerator. Little sliding here. I'll give you a little cheat sheet. There's all the electric. Wired up to a 30 amp power wire, which I'll show you comes out the rear. And that's right, child locks. That's what happens. That's why the car seat's here. He does sit in the front seat. Okay. He rides in the front seat with me, hangs out. I do have a portable air conditioner, little storage bay. And I do represent Midwest Vans and Tampa Bay Boogie Vans. That's why I have both setups. Um, again, six surge protector there for the TV supply and whatever else I want to plug in. The microwave, some storage base, peanut butter jars, save them, give you a good idea. Put your uh, fork, spoons, knives, all that good stuff in there. Got the old classic bottle opener down there for you. Storage underneath the bed. And I do have mood lighting. I can go ahead and flip that up a little. Um, I do have a uh, couple toggle switches for the mood lighting. Bar light above me here. And I don't know if the back is gonna show up, but back in the back by the bedroom, I do have some mood lighting for the bedroom. And just like I uh, suggested, I did hook up an electric air horn. I'll do this quickly. And we do have the, the one 360 seat. The other one doesn't swivel because of the wall holding the AC and that little storage bay there as well. Um, like I said before, storage underneath the bed here. Kind of wedge it in here. 
Um, and again, the refrigerator that is completely full. I am going camping when we leave here. <laughs> we got some nice pouches for storage as well, one on each door. For storage. Forgot about the window shades. Pop out window. Got all this stuff out of the junkyard. Got the tire carrier for thing and this also came out of my um, I had a 1988 camper van and that was the tire carrier for that and we just passed it on down again storage underneath the bed I do have a magnetic uh, TV antenna so that I can plug in it We'll do a halfway here for a TV supply. And then the old RV 30 amp power supply. And I do have hookups for 110 and 50 amp. That's how everything gets run. Yeah, so you have storage in this door too? Yep. We got some nice storage in here for the oil, rags, what have you. And I like to leave it open so we stain the wood to match the wood on the archway. Mm -hmm. My stepfather and I did this. And then we put the wood, wood beams up to hold the roof up. And another idea, this was also, these are mood lighting as well, but they're not hooked up. But it's just to give it a trim piece. I have another one on the other side behind the pillows. And there's the TV with a, a DVD player. Oops videos every time they come on. Yeah. Never miss a, a show. Yeah. So you're a subscriber. Yes, sir. We are. All right, and you've I learned. Subscribe. You've learned. Everybody subscribe. You told me you learned a few up. things. Yes, I did. I learned an AC idea, a TV idea, and just set it up a little differently. Excellent. Glad to hear. Happy you guys are watching. Thank you. That's what it's all about—to give ideas and keep it going. That's yeah. right. Keep on trucking. That's it.